I'm going to show you the diner menu system. Um, right, let's get started. Okay, um, so here we have the iPads, the kitchen screen, and this will be the waiter device. So bear with me while I press and hold the camera. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to do it as easily as I normally would. Just one-handed, of course. Okay, that's just some reflection from the lights. Let's see if I can get rid of that. Uh, put that, put that here. Okay. So I'm going to open up the dine-in menu now this is just one of them we've got several so now I just log in this is a demo version so any login will do now I'll pick a table number something different to what's here so we'll pick table 10 now on the waiter screen We've now got table 10, 10 there. Um, so we already had table 10. I'll pick a different table. say table 37 there we go table 37 is is here now it's not really focused sorry let me try and focus this camera there we are okay and on here on this iPad we're gonna have the POS okay so um, let's have a look at the menu now normally you don't get this loading time I've just put a new version of the menu on here so that's why it's loading now you see as I go back there's no loading time okay so you can see we've got at the top and the side on this one different menus will have different ways that um, you can see the menu items now let's have a look at a menu item okay here at down the bottom you can see we've got preferences so for this dish you can choose extra cheese or extra butter let's just add it to the cart or no now we can remove it from the cart no problem let's say we want um, extra extra cheese now we'll add it to the cart you notice the price has gone up there okay you can see the description up the top 
there as well. So let's have a look for something else. You can scroll. Let's have tofu with vegetables. And let's order a, um, a burger as well. Okay, now we'll have a look at the cart and we'll confirm the order. Now when I confirm the order, listen carefully as the waiter device will get a notification. It may take a second or two. Okay, so now we can see table 37 has shifted from the green to the yellow. The order has been placed. And we can see what we've ordered there. You can also see the extra cheese. Now the waiter wants to do their job properly. They want to upsell. So they ask if they want anything else then they can add items to the menu so let's say they want to add chicken spring rolls the starter then they haven't got any drinks so let's say they want a kiwi fruit juice and a watermelon juice okay now We'll have a look at the table order, so we've got all that there. Now let's confirm the order. Now what will happen is the order will go to the kitchen screen. It may take a moment or two. Um, Now these are old orders that haven't been served. So our new order has just appeared over here. Table 37. Now let's say the watermelon juice is ready. All we need to do is put in star one, two, two to confirm this order. The waiter gets another notification the confirmed item is ready. Prepared. Yep, I should have been looking and prepared. Yeah, so we can see the watermelon juice has been prepared. They can mark that as served. Now let's say the rest of the order is ready. So you can see the watermelon juice has now got a tick next to it. So let's put in the rest of the order we put in this number here backslash 21-0 now it's disappeared because the orders complete as far as the kitchen's concerned. We've got a notification here on the waiter device the order is all prepared and we can see everything there. Let's mark it food served. Now let's 
let's look in the POS. Table 37, the order is delivered. It's a bit of reflection there, we'll take that over here so you can see better. The order is delivered. We can complete the order. Now there's no printer hooked up, so when we put in the payment, an error will come up just because of no printer being hooked up. Okay, so we take the payment, pay now, fail to open the port, that's for the printer, and so that order's been paid. Now we can go to have a look at the back end. Here is this order for table 37 we've just done with all the items in it. Um, and we can see all the other orders. Um, now let's see where you can create a new menu item. That can be done here. You can view the menu list. I won't show you the whole back end because that would take too long. But uh, let us hide an item. Say you're out of stock of something. So let's say the vegetable spring rolls are out of stock. So first let's see the vegetable spring rolls are on the menu here. Now to put them out of, to take them off the menu, we just press this and that's some problem with my computer, not the actual um, program. Now we want to refresh the menu, um, so let's go into the menu again or we'll just go in remote order that way we don't need to log in okay so it's gone from the starters menu now we have that in stock again let's say it's the next day So we need to find it on the menu and reactivate it. You can see there's a lot of items in this food menu. Okay, so anyway the quick way to do that will be to look in the starters. There we go, vegetable spring rolls. So we just click here again and activate it. Okay, that's back on the menu there. Now to put it back on the menu here, we just need to go out. We need to refresh. And you go back in again. And hey presto, it's back on the menu. Okay, now we, we also have the Facebook likes where they can like items on Facebook. Of course they need to log on. And um, we also have the feedback forms which are just simple questions. But when we get to the end you can take down all their details here okay let's have a look at another menu design because we do lots of different menu designs so this is another one The 
their menu is only going to be as good as your pictures and um, you want to put a good description you can put the price and the preferences here we've got dessert and drinks the drinks um, I've just put this on the device so the drinks haven't loaded yet okay let's have a look at a menu that's in development this is one for the Conrad Five Star Hotel uh, they just recently commissioned us so this is where we've put the photos we're just waiting for the customer to tell us which drink is which I actually took these photos myself and you can see what the drinks look like um, they're a terrace bar they've got snacks as well okay and they've got cigars okay now before we get to that stage what we'll do for you once you've commissioned us to do the work is we'll just do a bit of a mock-up demo 